Hello, EAC. Welcome to the second week of learning coming from Mrs. Ricinos. Uh, this week is September 21st through the 25th. So I've got some activities that need to be done by Friday. And then um, also some I ready stuff on here that needs to be done by October 8th. Okay, so I just want to walk you around the classroom, talk about the different links that I'd like you to click on this week. I've got uh, Read Aloud on Albert Einstein there, one of the very cool people from our history. I've got two parts for writing, some pre-writing activity that we'll do in part one, and then some beginning writing that we'll add to it into part two. So you could do the use on two different days would be my uh, recommendation. Um, for each grade level, you can click on your grade level and complete the geography pages for this week. And then same thing for art. Click on the art book for your grade level and complete the pages for art. So I'll be looking for writing, geography, and art loaded up into Seesaw by 12 o'clock on Friday, September 25th. Okay. Um, so those are the assignments for this week. Down below the whiteboard here, I've got a couple of links for iReady. The one right here is actually for parents. There's a website that's on our River Home Link website that gives a lot of information about how to help your child take the iReady test. So I strongly suggest that you look at that and get ready for the reading and math tests that need to happen. And then when your child is ready to spend some time taking the iReady, you can click on this one. It'll take you to the Clever login. After you get logged into Clever, then you'll click on the iReady icon and go from there. There's two different um, tests to take, one for reading and one for math. And students just do your best on it. Um, it's adaptive, so it will give you harder and harder questions while you're getting things right and then if you pick a wrong answer, then it'll get a little bit easier and it'll keep adjusting like that until it figures out your level. So it will ask you things that you haven't been taught yet. And when something comes up that you just don't know, there's no problem with that. Um, just go ahead and just click your best guess and then go on to the next one. So my suggestion is that you work on iReady for about 20 minutes a day between now and until you're finished with it. I wouldn't go over much more than 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe if you're one of the older students and can handle a little bit more. But I find after that, then, then um, our attention span is kind of done and, um, and we're not trying as hard as we were at the very beginning. So make sure that it, you're working on it at a time that you're, you've just eaten, you're maybe in the morning, you're fresh, you're awake you're ready to work really hard on it because it's really important that your parents and I see um, exactly where your reading level is and where your math level is so that we can teach you things that you don't know already and not just teach you things that you already know. So we wanna find those levels of where we should be teaching you, okay? So you can click on that link and sign into iReady through Clever and work on that until they're all done. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing everything loaded back up into Seesaw at the end of the week. Bye-bye.